nope, 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 nope. You must excuse the hair. I just got out of the shower, so like, calm down. I know I look like a shaggy ass dog, but like, <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you know, my name is Tere, and today I'm going to be reacting to Miley Cyrus's album, Breakout. I only remember a few songs from this album. Let's go through the track list real fast. Breakout, I remember. Uh, seven things, obviously, because like, <laughs> dog tags. <laughs> Girls just wanna have fun because, you know, it's a cover. If you didn't know it was a cover, oh my god. <laughs> oh. Fly on the wall, of course. Bottom of the ocean, because it reminded me of Slide Away. <laughs> we'll get there. Oh, of course, see you again, the Rock Mafia remix. Remix. <laughs> Other than that, I don't remember any of these songs. So, we are going to go through this. This is her first album without like Hannah Montana like promoting it or anything like that. This is just her and I'm excited to dive into it and relive my childhood because like it needs to be relived. Um, I have a whole playlist for you so you can watch these in chronological order. Like this video and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. Can you like just see that these were her problems back then? Like getting up at 8am and going to school and they saying I'm lazy because I'm not waking up. Like can I go back to this? <laughs> I would have liked a music video for this song. Like her just waiting till the bell rang like um, High School Musical uh, 2 when they're all like have it be like a start all over when these things are happening, but she's sleeping. Uh, there could have been more. I think it's so interesting how she has this mentality of we're not going to focus on the books. We're going to do uh, and make our own mistakes and live by those life lessons rather than learning it from a book. Her looking at like small problems in her life at this point in her life and you really get to see like what her worries were when she was this age and it's ridiculous. <laughs> ooh, ooh. But it, it, it's good because it's like reminiscing of that time period when things were easier. Life wasn't too hard and the Disney Channel game. Ooh, I love what she feels so good. Ah, oh, that slide was everything. It was everything. I have to say, <laughs> it definitely came back to me. Good God. Oh, that was such a bop. We're hearting it. We're keeping her. That was. <laughs> See, I'm already just. Uh. <laughs> yesterday <laughs> watching this on Disney Channel and being like this is the greatest song ever written <laughs> I think the most impressive thing I see is her actually articulating what it's like to be in love at this age dang when that chorus hit if you weren't screaming those lyrics at all and getting up and dancing what was wrong with you this song hurts me and I'll believe it if you text it I'll delete it setting their boundaries boundaries if a man ever texts you sorry over something that is like really like you're in tears you're hurting and he goes sorry bitch you better fly on a plane 
You better come tell me in person and call my ass. Because I want to see your face. Sorry. <laughs> trifling ass. Ooh. I'll do the outro for you. Hold on. Ooh. And then like God, what a single. Can we hear that one more time? Again, pain. Like, she always has this pain in her, her, her lyricism. And I'm like, what pain did, like, what pain is it? Like, oh, it just seems like when you're a little kid, you feel like, oh, there's not really much for them to actually write about or actually sing about. And the, I'm so impressed by how, can I say that, insightful? when you actually listen to the lyricism because like this came out in 2008 what kind of pain are you going through good and broken what kind of pain are you going through why are you so broken just i'm amazed i liked when i was a little kid how the driveway symbolizes the end of a road for the relationship or what she was talking about. I like the comparison. That is for Ooh, a lot to say, but not today. Let the radio break the silence. Why does that remind me of like 21 Pilots? I don't remember about what about this song I ever liked. Ah, ooh. I what? Did she just say I saw your taillights fading right into a telephone pole? What? What? Somewhere, but we're still nowhere at all. I watched your taillights fading. I tried, but it still won't fail. Still won't fall. I remember what it feels like to know love and have it taken away. I can't think of what I learned right now, but I'll be thanking you someday. Okay, so this is like her thank you next. I thought there was like a whole plot line that he... <laughs> Did they not? Like, okay, so this is her like thank you next. I will be thanking you someday for this experience, but not today because like I learned nothing from your hands. She like hits those loud notes and I'm like, Miley! Ooh. Cheer Squad, me. Heart It, we love that song. Next song is Girls Just Wanna Have Fun. And I remember arguing with my mom about this song because she loved Cindy, she loved Cindy Lauper so much. And I was like, listen, mother, it's still a good cover. And she was like, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Cindy Lauper was my idol. And my mom used to like dye her hair to match Cindy Lauper's. So like, I understand, but like, get my chance, you know? that a lot of people may not like this cover. I love this cover because I think it it solidified that Miley Cyrus can do covers and it's not East Northumberland High. Have you ever heard her sing Lana Del Rey's Summertime Sadness? Like, I think her covers were where she actually really shined and i'm i'm glad she actually did a cover for this album because um cindy lopper is such a like an icon so i can understand her being like 
I really, really want to do this justice. But I don't want to do it her way, I want to do it my way. And I think for covers, you have to have your certain sound go into these covers that are iconic. And I think she did her thing. Now, if you would have asked my mother, to this day, I know she's still repping Cindy Lauper, but for this, <laughs> we're hearting this one. Let's go full circle, shall we? I remember this song. Oh my God. I used to listen to this song all the time. the end of that chorus I know you'll come around it's such a full circle kind of song I love how the melody and everything felt like you were going in a circle god bless oh I used to chant to this song I why did I not remember it oh, I remembered it now circle is that beast ooh, ooh, ooh. I did not remember how that song went but god obviously you guys know what we're gonna do we're gonna hurt that one <laughs> what is my voice right now track six fly on the wall this song hold on a minute fly on the wall can we just appreciate how when she says fly on the wall it actually sounds like a little buzzing delicious oh oh this part oh when she says don't you i say don't you Miley Cyrus. <laughs> That's enough of that song. Oh, harding it, of course. Um, let's just not. Let me not destroy my apartment because of this song. <laughs> you just see me as a, in a corner, like fly on the wall. Like that's not too. Oh. I love the feel of this song so. like the slide away was such a part two for this song was because like in that song she's like I'm not who I was when I was a little kid like and I'm gonna slide away from you but like I feel like for Liam that slide away she's putting you at the bottom of the ocean and she's like I'm kind of moving on and I just feel like both of those songs they could have been uh, we've come full circle no, <laughs> full circle, my friends. But I just love the symbolisms of those songs. And I know I I don't think it was planned that way that slide away was gonna come out like that. But like that was the first thing that I when I listened to that song, I'm like, this sounds like bottom of the ocean, or it could be like a part two of bottom of the ocean. Um, yeah, I mm, this song is so good, so good. Oh, 
all the voice modulations. <laughs> we miss you. Tell me you love me, babe. Just know I'm gonna have to walk away. I'll be big enough for both of us to say we have to Can we, again, her maturity of I'm gonna be the bigger person and I'm going to walk away from this. And I hope you're happy and I hope I can be happy as well. Come on now. The maturity, though. Heart in it, of course. Disney Channel stuff. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. So I'm like, like I appreciate the meaning of this song. I feel like I, I felt like this back in the day as well. I appreciate the meaning of this song. Um, but I also remember Disney's channel, Friends for Change, when they were like, oh, cut your water off and uh, oh, turn the lights out. And I'm like, yeah. Because we should take care of the words. Global warming is a thing. I mean, I've never been really okay with this song. It's an okay song. But I always felt like there was some... Like I would like Miley Cyrus to be a little open about that a little bit more. And she has been. And I think it was really set her up to like what she does for like um, Miley Cyrus and her dead pets. And the ending the wolf call and things like that. That she's always been someone who talks about these issues that affect America and she's not afraid to talk about them. I get it, but like at this age, did she really have the knowledge and understand the importance of global warming at this age? Or was this a song that Disney wanted you to record and was like, here you go, this, is gonna be your platform. There you go. So, like, I've always wanted to know those things. Um, let's finish the song, shall we? Like she said, especially coming from someone so young. But did you think that, or was this re like? I feel like Disney kind of blended this in there and was like. <laughs> like I'm that's what I kind of feel like do they really want to hear it because we talk about global warming all the time and the, some people are like you know I'm just I'm just asking those these questions Why does this remind me of something they would have as like the theme mu music for Good Morning America? That's what it's reminding me of. I don't hate the song. I just wonder why it's here in the album. <laughs> uh, if you guys know more information, put it down below. We got heard that. It's still not, it's not my favorite. I think I loved it more as a little kid than I do now. Just because I... I think I'm older now and understand the importance of global warming and understand how detrimental and impacting it can be on our earth. I'm not trying to uh, make you guys global warming thumpers, not whatsoever. I'm just saying that maybe we should just take care of our earth a little bit more and I know I have room to grow as well. This reminded me of a rascal flat song for some reason it's just it's that's what it's reminding me of right now Ooh. i love when she's getting into those upper registers like ah Not 
as great as I thought it once was when I was a little kid. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I love when she hits those upper registers because you definitely can tell her voice isn't completely developed yet because she was like, ah, <laughs> a couple times. <laughs> and same. <laughs> um, uh, but it's not my favorite, but I know Young Teray really liked the well, song because she was young and alone and very, very lonely as a kid. And Four Walls was all she had. So, we heart that shit. <laughs> in the song my gosh oof oof I, I i think i did like this song when i was younger too because i i was an angsty kid like ooh, ooh, cram it all down my throat uh, waking up at seven in the, uh. i don't remember this She was saying something about a driveway because that would have been a perfect key in for this and this is also what's making me think that she didn't write all these songs because i feel like there would have been several songs where she would have put other like kin hint nudge nudge in other songs so this is what's making me not think that she wrote all these <laughs> La 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 I love the contradictions of those. I just, oh, and it's a, it's a stylistic choice as well that a song is not clear cut, and then you, a simple song, that part was simple, and I, I love stylistic approaches like that. I, mm, songs that are not just generic and straight cut, I just crave. I just. Eh. <laughs> cried to the song oh my god <laughs> how did i forget this song oh i used to like i'm not being dramatic at all i used to cry to the song so like just sit with me and let's just cry okay I would sit in my room and it'd be like Oh man Oh, oh should we should we should we go down this road? I feel like we should. <laughs> oh god. Come on, Deray, you can do it. It's not that bad. Was it 
it, Miley? What was it? Goodbye. Heard it. Um, see you again. Rock Mafia remix. Oh my god. Why was that? I got my sight set on you. know how I feel about remixes I feel like they're unnecessary unless they're really really good and this wasn't really really like let's just be honest let me let me See, I'm not a fan of remixes. I'm sorry, that's just my thing. Um, I have it so hard hearted on there because it was part of the album, so I'm not gonna like front against it. But it wasn't my favorite. I'm not I'm not gonna front and I'm gonna be honest. So uh, but again, remixes aren't my thing. So we have reached the end of this album. Final thoughts. Uh I love this album. Um, but again, wake up uh, America is still now as I'm an adult where was the, you know what was the goal of that but at the same time I really like this album so terrific about this album was it was Miley Cyrus um not Hannah Montana no wig nothing like that it was finally her making music and I hope she did have some input in this album but it just to have her articulate her feelings in this way of uh, the driveway or bottom of the ocean, um, uh, goodbye, simple song, like th those songs really impressed me. Um, favorite tracks though, in my opinion. Now, Young Tere would say all the tracks, all the tracks. <laughs> like, but what hits me the most as an adult, seven things, even though I feel like the lyricism wasn't that great i feel like the music video really solidified it as oh there's some drama afoot you know um i still think that's a great song and when it plays i have to sing to it um uh the driveway i do like the symbolism of that uh full circle of course full circle full circle um i do like the fly on the wall i feel like the fly on the wall is an interesting one just because of a fly. Uh, bottom of the ocean, I really like. I love how smooth and sounding it is. Um, simple song and goodbye. Those are my favorite tracks. Uh, what are your favorite tracks? Let a girl know down below. And like this video and subscribe down below. I create new videos every week. Uh, I will see you guys in the next video for Reliving My Childhood, the MC edition. I know what album I'm doing next. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.